This is my next level survival kit. This is probably between 94 and 90, yeah, around about 94. Uh, the tin is unchanged from the one you've seen in the first video. Uh, basically what happens is it all fits in this pouch this time. It has loops on it so you can tie it around and carry it as a bag on your shoulder. And it's got belt loops on and put on your belt. Quite a reasonable size, about 2 inches by 6 by 4. Yeah. But, uh, Mighty Light Submersible Torch which was made by Pelican in California, USA. I don't even know the firm still going anymore. Good torch. The magnet's missing out the end now but does its job really flops. Meta for signaling. This is a, a makeup meta. <laughs> Foil pot used for drinking, cooking, whatever you want to use it for. First aid kit. Now this all this is basically this is a it's a triangle bandage couple of scalpel blades, couple of plasters, a bit of tape and there's some sutures in this as well I think yeah steady strips and that's it for first aid a bin bag great bit of kit, you can use it for all sorts carrying stuff you can even cut arm moles and a head hole in it use it as a waterproof jacket if you need to Hypothermia blanket, all on PCB. Never been out the pack here. <sighs> survival bag, yeah, sometimes they're called survival sleeping bags. Paracord, and batteries, the torch. There's no batteries in it, store the things in case you get leaks. So there's there and spares. That's it, as I say, the tin is unchanged from before. So that was it. That was what I improved me it to. Stay tuned for the next one and you see where I went from here. Thanks for watching.